folks and welcome to another episode of stars of tomorrow an fm21 series where we look at some young talent on foot manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers for players that i'm curious about now or i discover but also players that you give me in the discord section that before we get any further if you're enjoy, excited for this episode episode hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new as well if you've got a player you think he's an unknown gem i mean an amazing talent that no one's found yet in Discord, the section down below where you can find the Discord link, and in the Discord, there's a section also which is called literally called Stars of Tomorrow Requests. All you gotta do is put messages in there, tag me in it, and I will look at it every evening about 10 o'clock and look at what you've requested and go from there. Also, down in the description is my second channel and also a schedule for this series as well so you can keep track of your request or any players that are coming up soon. So today's player is uh, K.O. George, again, a player uh, request from the Discord, a uh, Brazilian striker, um, and you know straight away, you know, um, people love the same in Brazil. I think I've never, I should say that, saying this, I don't think I've had a single new gen that I've had in a long-term save that's been amazing from, from like, Brazil. Like, like he's won Ballon d'Ors and got 50 goals a season, whatever. Don't recall it, but maybe one day it'll happen one day on this channel. So being a Brazilian striker, I've done a scout report on him for you guys, so you can get an idea what he's like before we before we sign him. Uh, scout report, there we go. Um, two star current ability, three and a half star potential, maybe four and a half. Um, he is susceptible to injuries, so we're going to keep an eye on that um, in this review. It's the first time I've seen that in a while, and the rest, um, looking at his focus isn't before. The rest is all kind of like can be can can fluctuate a little bit. So just get an idea what his potential rating is. Uh, based on United Scouting Department. So we've got no player traits on him at the moment. We've got a reasonable, reasonable left foot and a very strong right foot. So you could make him left wing if you wanted to, if you like, cut inside from that from that area. So, um, 14 finishing, 14 composure, good determination, 12 technique, very well-rounded player early on. So how much would he cost transfer fee? Right? He's got a, he's got a risk cost of £69 million. Mine's out of the gutter. So £69 million. Pounds. We're going to offer what my scout said, £15 million. Pound, and we're going to take off just a couple of these things I don't like on. Just this very quick, very quick negotiation, guys. Right, £15 million pound you can sign him for. Um, you might get less than that if you really negotiate, or uh, if you can structure it a certain way. But £15 million. Pounds, so the scout report is correct based on this estimated cost. So, first jump. Let's go. All right, folks, he's now 23 years old. He's at Barcelona, which, again, could be a possible sales video on my channel at some point. Um, look at that, 16 finishing, 15 dribbling. Uh, needs to get a napkin, needs to get some kind of bib on him. He dribbles a lot. My, my poor attempt at a joke there. Uh, 16 construction and determination. Good, balanced, I would say, physical stats. Obviously, I, I place to be 16, but that's my personal preference and other than anything else. So developments, look at his player traits. So runs above the centre. Moves into channels, likes to be upside trap and does not dive into tackles. In this scenario, he's developed a bit more on the right hand side. Um, again, he's got a reasonable left foot, so wouldn't necessarily be terrible out there, but maybe I may pose whether it's like left foot on the right hand side, right foot on the left. That's my personal preference on that. The key thing now is injuries, because obviously it did say he was susceptible to injuries. And for me, I mean, there's a, there's a decent amount there for the next, last few years, but I wouldn't say anything, anything there is glaringly worrying me. Like six days, two days, highest injury within the, it's like three weeks. I mean, I don't know. I mean, is that injury proneness? I don't know. I don't think it is. I think like maybe like five weeks and four weeks and, you know, quite close together. But it seems to be looking at the gap. It's not terrible, is it? I've, sure, surely you see, I'm sure you've seen worse. So, Barcelona. They signed him, um, well, Brazil got 19 goals and 10 assists, then he got 18 goals. For £13 million, pounds, he got 5 goals, 0 assists. Then he got 6 goals that season, not many starting games. 
they played that they played um in the second team B team and then the first team got eight and one. He's got more goals than him, but Barcelona's probably got a very good uh, striker up front. Who they got? They're playing four four two with Fati and Jesus. Okay. Um so they're doing that. I think this guy should be starting Barcelona, I really do. I think he's got all the tools to be a great striker. Uh just again, the problem with these big clubs is that when they buy them and they always buy a lot of good talent, they sometimes struggle to get the talent um to stay in the team and work. So yeah, um let's continue. All right, folks, he's now at Let's Go Madrid, and you can see here it's relatively the same stats on technical and mental. We've increased we've increased in the top three physical stats of so acceleration, agility, and balance. Um, player traits, nothing new there. Injury record, so look at this. Again, based on the fact that it's an injury prone, I'm it's not bad. It's I, I was expecting a lot worse than this, to be honest with you. So let's have a look here. So we've got Let's have a look. Um, eight goals that season. Then obviously he got 19 and 6. 4 and 0. Didn't play Barcelona at all, did he? They didn't want to play him at all, did they? And then he got 17 and 1 um, there. So that is pretty good. £46.5 million paid for him. First year he gets really good football on the league. He scores 17 goals. That is absolutely fantastic. I think definitely he plays a guy earlier on. You get more out of him. So, next question is, can you do it? Continue to do that. Let's find out. And he's still let's go to guys at 31 years old. And yeah, looking at the stats, that's again factoring the Barcelona period, not playing much. Add those get games, more games in there, then you get more out of them, I think, definitely. Injury record here, let's have a look. So relatively injury free for me. Nothing really concerning me. Nothing concerning me. It's quite a lot, but it's like two days. I mean, unless they unless you count that as injury prone. I don't think I won't personally, but you guys in the comments as you might might feel differently on that. So how's he done up as we did? First first year we saw he got 17 goals. Then he got 24 and 5. Then 19 and 3. 21. Yeah. So like I said. Barcelona just didn't play this guy enough. I was pretty confident he'd, he'd score goals. Um, I've called this a while ago, this review, so I, didn't, I kind of forgot what happened. So that prediction of me scoring my goal I was actually kind of based on like, a complete guess. Um, but, yeah, goal, goal. He's got, he's, got, he's got goals in him. He's got a trick that I love, which is like to beat the offside trap. I, I like that trap because it, it just pictures of me. He's going to be trying to get in behind a lot rather than coming short, which I like that. My striker's... Don't always work, but it's nice to see. So I like him. I think this guy, a rating for him. Eight out of ten. Um cheap. Barcelona idiots. Um even for E six point five is not overly dramatic amount of money for a guy who's getting twenty goal a season. You know what I mean? On average ish. Um I think he's great. I think you can also make him a left winger or right winger if you want to work on that as well. I don't think there's an issue with that. Me personally if I was going to do that, I'd stick him on the left because he's, right, he's more naturally um, strong on his, on his right foot. But on the right-hand side, on his left, again, wouldn't necessarily be a worst idea in the world. So, yeah, thank you for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this episode, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.